Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome in. Ignore the mess. <laughs> when you're live on YouTube, it's very big this way, as opposed to Facebook just shows me this way. <laughs> so you guys haven't seen a lot of this mess behind me. And uh, yeah, I'm a chaotic mess back there. Let me just get some of these things out of the way. This is a boot that we've been working on. She's almost done. She just needs some top coat. Um, I've been slowly plugging away at that. It's got a unique little feature to it that's been taking a little bit of work. And then this is something that we created in a sorority. I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Look at the shine on that. Um, so that'll be in the next auction as well. But let's see if we got a big enough space to actually craft a project. So I'm hoping that you'll be saying hi and chatting with me in the comments. I don't see any comments yet, but I'm hoping that you'll join in the chit chat. Let me know how it's going. Ah, where to start? Um, we don't sell wood cutouts anymore. However, I do have a few. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one up. And uh, I thought you guys would enjoy this. It will be in the next auction, you know, if it turns out nicely. <laughs> and uh, it's adorable. I know you all love the Highland Cows as much as I do. I made this once before. And actually, I think I've made two of them before. And both of them have been stolen by my daughter. One went to, she took it and gave it away as part of a wedding gift or a baby shower gift, maybe. Um, and then the other one, um, I believe she claimed for herself. So it's been done a couple times, but it is an oldie but a goodie. So here she is. It's the adorable Highland Cow. Okay, so to start off with, oh, and it's got the little welcome word on there too. Um, to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and do the welcome part. I want that in white. It usually takes a couple coats just because white paint tends to soak in and to give you that really vibrant white you got to do a couple coats it is what it is so or some primer so I'm just going to use a bit of a makeup sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and get this started and then while we're working on the other parts it'll be drying up a bit now, I like to use a sponge because it's a lot, a lot less messy. <laughs> and you can wash them and reuse them, but sometimes I just chuck them out. Now, this one's been used several times. Um, you can see it's got some green, some orange, some yellows, now some white paint on it. Um, but after this one, I'll probably just chuck it. Just, it's getting kind of old. But they're a quick, easy way for painting, I tell you. I'm not seeing any comments yet. Maybe I haven't got it set up quite right. <laughs> but uh, please let me know that you're there, even if you're watching on the replay. All right. So for the next part, I think I'm going to have to grab a pencil right here. And I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to kind of Mark off where this bow would start and where the hair would be, okay? Hope that makes sense. So I've just gone, let's get these little hooves out of the way. I've just gone, whoops, and then the nostrils apparently just bit the dust. Um, I've just gone and drawn a line up along in here, just so that I kind of know where I need to do some other colors, okay? So... And maybe I'll do this as well. A little line there and a little line there. Okay. So when I remove this part, it's got a rough idea <laughs> of what needs to go on. And I'm going to go ahead and try and give some white up there. Now, if this doesn't work, I can always fix it after. But I just wanted to make this white. Okay. 
So I hope you all are having a fabulous day. I'm so glad you have joined me or joined me on the replay. <laughs> yeah, this is really soaking in, so it's definitely going to need two coats. All right, let's see how that looks. I think I'll probably need a little bit more right up there. Oops, I just got that nostril wet with the white paint. There we go. Okay. Now, I'll have to excuse my very squeaky chair. I have not been able to replace that yet. <laughs> okay. The next thing I want to do is, while that's drying, is I'm going to go in with some brown paint. So I'm going to be using Milk Chocolate by DecoArt. And I think I'm just going to go in with a paintbrush on this one. And I'm just going to paint this whole area. I just want it light. I'd like to be able to see the wood grain through it, at least in some spots. So you could even do this with a baby wipe if you wanted to. I find the wood grain really adds to it. A little bit up there. A little bit more. Come on, baby. There we go. That should do it. Okay. I know it looks like a hot mess so far, but just trust me, it is going to look good. Trust the process. <laughs> But you can see some spots are soaking in more than others, and that is A-OK. -okay. All right, I'm just going to set that brush aside, clean up that little bit of mess. Actually, while we've got that out, let's do these little hoops. Oops, that's probably way too much paint, but... Definitely way too much paint. I got some wood grains that are standing up on end. That happens sometimes. If it bothers you, you can always take um, your gator sander or a little bit of sandpaper and you can just kind of knock those down after. Um, but when it's a character like this, it's kind of nice having that extra texture, I think. We'll see how it looks when it dries. Talking about drying that up, let's just turn on the, the little outlet over there. Just give it a bit of a head start on drying. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna set those little pieces aside, move that paintbrush out of my way. So I've gotta ask, how many of you are new to the page? Let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to, I guess it's not a page here. It's a channel here. Facebook, we've always called it a page. Um, how many of these are new to the channel? And for those of you that have been following me over on Facebook, what do you think about us being here on YouTube? I honestly don't know where to look for the camera. <laughs> do I look over there? Do I look there? Or do I look there? <laughs> I don't know where to look, but when I'm looking at myself right now, I can see that I'm looking upright a little too much. So I guess that's not quite right, but I can't seem to find the right spot to look. Hopefully that comes to me in time. Um, next, I'm going to lie this on top and let's see how close of a job we got to her. Oh, goodness. I'm off by quite a little bit here. I'm just going to turn it around and show you. 
Can you see I'm off by quite a bit up there? But you can see where I'm going with this. So I think I'm going to grab a little brush and I'm going to fix this up this way. I think that'll just be easier. Now you won't want to have a lot of paint on your brush to do this though because otherwise it'll be really noticeable and you'll be getting it all over the, the sides of the boards but I just don't want any white showing in there. There we go. Just a little touch up. You could glue it together and try and do it afterwards, but I really didn't want paint to end up all on the inside edges if I don't have to. There we go. Let's see a little spot down in there. Go. Oh, I think that's so perfect now. It is. And actually, that white's not looking too bad either. Oh, I can see another little spot right there. And right there. Let's just lift this up. That'll handle that. And a little bit more right there. There we go. Okay, now let's line it up and see how she looks. Fabulous! I think we're looking perfect now. Oh, isn't that amazing? Okay, so the next part is, well, let's do a second coat on that white and get that set aside. Brighten that up a little bit. There we go. Might even take a third coat, we'll see. Depends on the wood. Some days it soaks it up a little more. It's, it just depends on, I think, how dry the wood is. How much glue is in that spot of wood because if there's more glue content then it doesn't seem to soak up as much so it's just kind of hit and miss but it's not that big of a deal a little bit of extra paint here and there is not that difficult <laughs> all right go in and give this a second coat as well fear though that I have not done my live correctly or something because I am not seeing any comments <laughs> and that is part of the reason that I left you to or, uh, Facebook well I haven't left Facebook but I'm not over in Facebook as much um, first of all I lose too many videos over there they seem to just disappear um, Facebook doesn't push out enough of the old videos and um, Sometimes I wasn't seeing comments, but I'm thinking this is more of a me problem <laughs> because I am new to this setup. I can see that it is recording, but okay. Next, this part I'm going to do in black. So it's lamp black. It's a very matte black. And I want this whole area done in black, I believe. Just let me think. Let me think for a second here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the whole thing in black. 
So I'm going to grab another one of my sponges just because it's quick and easy. Now this would also look beautiful in a dark brown with the light brown in behind, but I really wanted to do black because it, it really is going to help everything just pop, I think. It's just the horns that are kind of like, hmm, do I really want them black? That's kind of the, the spot that's making me second guess my choice, but... You could do it a different color if you wanted to, but. Now this will look beautiful on an office door, even on a wall somewhere, on your front door. It'd be really cute added to the center of a wreath, if you're into wreaths for your front door. I think that would be very beautiful. If you think of any other spots that you would put something like this, please let me know. Share your ideas with the rest of us. <laughs> put a little more over here. Here we go. There's no turning back on those horns now. They're black. There we go. Now, once this dries, sometimes with the black, you'll see little spots that you'll have to touch up, but not too often. Most of the time, one coat of black does the trick. So there it is. It almost looks like one of those wrought iron um, metal cuts. I think it's stunning. Honestly, I kind of like that just without the background as well, but it's a little more fragile without the background. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can glue this together yet. First of all, make sure I've got no black seeping through before I do this. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so cute. Okay, so I am gonna grab some, I'm gonna dry it up a bit before. I, t I tend to rush sometimes. And I really should dry things up first. Otherwise, I'm going to make a hot mess. All right. Really probably wasn't that hard to open, but my pinchers don't seem to work that well lately. And sometimes I just can't get things opened. Okay, I can see a couple little spots I'm gonna to touch up, but not too bad. All right, there's the glue coming out. You really don't need a lot if you're using stick fast glue. You can also use a tight bond or um, Gorilla Glue or whatever kind of wood glue you like. Um, just some will take longer to dry than others. This stuff tends to be very quick. Stick fast, which is like the name, but I'm sensitive to it lately. It never used to bother me at all, and I seem to be a little sensitive to it now, like it's right now it's burning my eyes for some reason. It's always something with me. I've used this for years, and it's never bothered me. Isn't that weird? It's never bothered me before. Wow. I don't know. It's the same bottle. <laughs> All right. So you don't have to cover like every single spot, but you know, you want to get a good amount and definitely the outside edges. Yeah, I'm not sure why my eyes are stinging a bit with this today. 
like I said, I've used it many times and never had that issue. All right. And then we're just going to line it up and lay it down. Give it a little press. Make sure we're all lined up the best we can. There we go. Gosh, so cute. Look at that. Now, I do realize one thing. I was actually hoping to put some polka dots in there before I glued it together, and I got a little ahead of myself, and that's okay. It's all right. I just won't do the polka dots probably now. Um, we'll see. There is a little bit brown showing right on this edge. Here we go. And I see another couple little spots. Let's see here. A little bit right there. Fingerprints. There we go. Okay. Oh, you know what we almost forgot is the little nostrils. Where did I put those? There they are. I want those in black as well, I imagine. There we go. <laughs> like, where did I put it? Right there. I'm going to glue my fingers together a bit there. Yep, I'm gluing my fingers together a bit. Oh my gosh, too stinking cute. Don't let's just add to it. Okay. Um, am I concerned about the polka dots now? I don't think so. It's really cute how it is. Let's see once we put the letters on. And again, you don't have to get every spot. Just make sure, you know, you get a good amount on there. And I just drag the tip because I don't want it to be like squishing out the sides when I put it together. Okay. stuck to my finger a bit. There we go. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Put a little glue on there. Just bring it a little bit higher up on those sides. There we go. Oh my gosh. So stinking cute. Now, if you are loving this and you're thinking, geez, I wish I had that for my house, it will be in our next auction on Facebook, provided that my daughter doesn't steal it before that because she seems to know everyone that loves Highland cows. And when she comes to pick up Maya on the weekends, <laughs> she tends to walk off with a few Highland cows every once in a while. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous that is really like to get some polka dots up there though you guys gonna deal with me being brave <laughs> be patient with me being brave here okay some glasses would be handy the reason that I like to do my polka dots typically first is because I'd like them to look like they were in behind all these lines right so now I'm just gonna have to be a little more careful
doing it. It'll be fine. Okay. I just can't get into all the, the areas that I'd like to. You know what I mean? Or as nicely as I'd like to. But it'll be good. There we go. Oh, that's looking cute. I think the, the little um, polka dots kind of add to it. Let's see how well I do on this one. Excuse me while I'm concentrating a bit here. I think that's cute. I wish I could see comments though. If it was going to be a pre recorded video and no comments, then um, I would have had my angle of my camera a little different so you could see things differently. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. There we go. Is that not cute? And I like it just with the plain white. We could use polka dots if you wanted to, but then it's kind of like um, a bandana and the tips are, I don't know. I think it's just gorgeous, just like that. Just like that. So cute. Not too shabby, I gotta say. All right. I am going to grab my black marker, though, and we're going to grab, do a little bit of details around this hoof. Just a little something like that. Just helps pop it a little bit. Oh my gosh, what do you think? Oh, so cute. Okay, so now that um, it's all glued together, you're probably wondering how am I gonna hang this thing? So I do have these little guys, well, they were on the website, but now that I don't cut wood anymore, they're not anymore. They're gonna go on the back like this. Now the great thing about these is actually if I grabbed one more of these as well this idea just popped in my head by the way <laughs> so bear with me while I walk away for a quick second I'm looking for felt I know I have quite the stack of it a brand new stack of it oh goodness where did it go it was sitting right there before I went on my trip goodness gracious okay well I would cut, it is like, it's a huge stack of all different colors sitting right there. But anyways, it's gone now. So I would take squares and I would put it over top of that. And then it's going to be less banging on your door. That was my thought. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of wire here and cut it off. 
And then these things, okay, so there's these engraved lines in the back of these. And so I would do this and I would do this. You can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna move it a little more over to the sides. And the same way with this one. Okay. Hopefully I've made hopefully I've made my wire long enough now that I moved it, right? But okay, once they're glued on, these things just slide down the holes if you've got thin enough wire. Which I know I do. I just can't see, that's all. There we go. Oh, and I just popped it right off. That's okay. Let me do this then. Here, bear with me for a second. I'm going to take this end. Oops. My pliers are not very good anymore. They're very stiff. I just need a little kink at the end on each side so it doesn't pull back through once it's glued down in place. Okay. Not like these pliers just don't open. All right. Now I'm going to take my wire that still has that glue on there and I'm going to push that down into place. Let's put something heavy right there just to hold it. And this one here will be the same way that wire goes in the center. You can fold that so it comes up on there. That's a good idea, Angie. There we go. And we're just going to hold it there for a second. <laughs> I totally lost grip on that. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> going to hold that for a second. And you can see, I'm going to bring it up real close so you can see the wire does fit in there. That wire is a 22 gauge, just in case anybody's wondering. Okay. And then that's... Okay, let it dry first. <laughs> let it dry first, but that's how it's going to hold. Perfectly like that. <laughs> Let's add a little more glue. If you're new to the page, I'm human. <laughs> I am human. You will see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just keeping it real. I'm not big on editing out um, stuff that happens to everybody. You know what I mean? Like just life. That is not lying in place now. Why the heck not? Do I have the wire too kinked, maybe? There we go. That's better. And then this one moved. Oh my goodness gracious me. Let's see if I got some clamps to help me along the way. Real life, you know, we're all gonna have these struggles. <laughs> there we go. Where's the other clamp? Well, I don't seem to have another clamp, but I can hold that now and I can show you. <laughs> there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <sighs> it's life, stuff happens. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks, and if you're not already subscribed to our page, please subscribe. Um, this page is basically going to have a bit of this, that, and everything. I am a crafter, for those of you that are new, but I'm also looking to get into a van life, which is camping in my van. Um, I won't be doing it full-time because I still have a daughter in school, but uh, I'd like to be spending a lot of time in the van. So... Thanks, and uh, don't forget to hit that bell for your notifications. Have a great day.